welcome to England and welcome to this Shrewsbury Diocese. We're here at Thornycroft Hall in the beautiful Cheshire countryside. And we're continuing to reflect on a saint for priests, a saint for parishes, St John Mary Vianney, the Cure of Ars. Let us ask the Lord Jesus for the grace to learn for ourselves something of the pastoral plan of St John Mary Vianney. Those are the words of our Holy Father, Pope Benedict. And I want in this programme for us to reflect together so that we might learn something from the pastoral plan of the Cure of Ars. The Vicar General of his diocese had sent a man who was considered the least able of priests to the smallest and most indifferent of parishes, where he was left in no doubt of the sorry state in which he would find religious practice. The Vicar General told the young Father Vianney, there is little love of God in that parish. You will be the one to put it there. Words which became remarkably prophetic, but were not, perhaps at the time of being spoken, a ringing endorsement of the young cure's future mission. On first seeing the tiny village of ours, where he would remain for the rest of his life, we can perhaps capture a note of disappointment in his words, how small this is. A man with so great a heart had been entrusted with only the smallest corner of the vineyard of the Lord, with a total population of just 230 souls. In a gesture which blessed John Paul II would learn from the Cure of Ars, he kissed the ground as he entered his parish, as he began his mission there. And if we picture him ringing the church bell on his first morning in the parish, it is worth remembering that the bell was broken and the parish church a run-down building. A building, I suspect, which would quickly find its way onto many a diocesan closure list today. We might glimpse something of his courage, which led him to pray what many a parish priest might hesitate to ask of the Lord in its totality. Lord, grant me, he prayed, the conversion of my parish. I am willing to suffer whatever you wish for my entire life, but grant me the conversion of my parish. The radical conversion of his parish was given with many hundreds of thousands who would eventually journey there. And this must have seemed to be almost the beginning of a new evangelization in France, the evangelization in its newness for which we pray in many parts of the world today. St John Vianney had no doubt that whatever lies at the centre, the heart of our parishes, must always serve to bring us back to the Eucharistic heart of Jesus. Thank you for joining me in this reflection on St John Marie Vianney, a saint for priests, a saint for parishes, and a saint for the new evangelization. I hope you can join me next time when we'll be looking at the place of St John Vianney, the place of the saints in the new evangelization. <laughs>